Today we'll be talking about setting up bin chaining on an AB350 and 320 multi bin machine using the Raven RCM and Viper 4 Plus display. Bin chaining is a feature that can be enabled when a multi bin machine is going to be used for the application of a single product. This process works by using the low bin level sensors located in each bin to automatically switch to the next bin once the bin level sensor has been triggered. To ensure proper weight distribution, please set up to empty the rear bin prior to the front bin. The first step in the bin chaining process is to ensure that the machine's bins are set up properly. If equipped with a rear micro bin that is going to be filled with the same product, flip the rubber strap to single bin. Remember that the bins need to be empty to move the flip gates. Ensure that the rubber strap on both sides of the machine are in the same position. Next, if equipped with a bin level toggle switch, set the bin level toggle switch to single. This will switch the bin level signal to the micro bin sensor since it empties last into the second bin. If the bin level switch is not installed, it can be added in the kit number 1008304046. Once the machine has been properly configured, we will then go to the Viper display to see the status of the bin level sensors. To do so, we will go to the UT screen. On the left hand side, you can see the object pool listed for the RCM. We'll select that which will bring up the RCM on the right hand side. Once this page is pulled up, we will select the Diagnostics tab, go to our system information, and then from the drop down list, select bin level sensors. On this page, we can see the status of each bin level sensor. Ensure that it reflects the status of the bin. So if you have product in the hopper and they are full, they are reading covered. If they are empty, they are reading not covered. Tap through each bin level sensor to ensure they are reading properly. Once you have confirmed they are reading properly, we will go to start a job. First, we'll select start job. And on this window, the first thing that we will do if we want the bins to be chained together is go to this tank assignment, select the chain link. And then to set up a profile, first we're going to select manual group, and then we're going to add a link. The primary product is going to be the bin that will empty out first. So you'll select the drop down and select bin number two. Select back. And now you can see that product number two has been added into the link. To add the additional link or bin number one, we'll select this icon. Select yes. And then we will need to uncheck both of these boxes to be able to have bin one show up on our product list. So select E01 or bin number one. Select the back page and now you can see that both of our bins are listed in our link. For our adma advanced method, we will uncheck our low level tank and empty tank. We will want the machine to advance based on the bin level signal. So once the bin level signal goes off, it will then switch to the next link. So once we have that completed, what we will do is select profile and what this will do is allow us to save the configuration for this bin chain so next time if we want to chain the bins all we will have to do is select our chain profile and everything will be set up properly so we'll name this profile chain so now once we have that named it'll be down in this list here we'll select ok so now you can see that we have chain selected as our profile up in the left hand corner. If we want to view it or edit it, we'll just have to select manual group and then we can select PO2 and that will show us our chain right here. So once that has been configured, we'll hit the back and now you can see that our two products are chained together. If we are in a scenario where we need to have each bin running independently, what we'll do is go to the tank assignment, select chain link, and then we can select our drop down for our profile and select the blank tab, which will clear out our bin chain settings. We'll revert back to the job window. And as you can see now, all the bins are independent. So for this example, we'll select our drop down for our profile and run our chain profile. And now you can see that our two products are chained together and we will start our job. Once in the job window, on the right hand side you can see that we have the bin chain widget located on our screen. 
The bin chain widget shows you which chain is active. You can also reset your chain when you're going to refill your products. And if you are done with the field and need to clean out the machine, it will show you the cleanout procedure is ready. Also on the bin chain widget, you can hold down on the chain link, which will open your bin chain settings menu. In here, you can see your bin chain, the link that is currently active, and it also shows your advanced method as well as an action upon completion. The advanced method we had already set up at the beginning to use our bin level sensors. The action upon completion is what the chains will do once both bin level sensors have triggered and your chain is complete. Shutdown chain is when both bin level sensors are triggered and clean out ready will be displayed in the bin chain widget. The operator must manually start the clean out for this procedure to begin. Start clean out when both products are completed, it'll turn on and apply a percentage of the rate. With the two products in this chain, it'll apply 50% out of each bin. The product will continue to apply even if the tank is empty and the operator will determine when to shut them off. The third option is delayed chain shutdown. The last bin will stay on for a user entered number of seconds after the bin sensor is triggered. Once this time runs out, the operator will need to manually start the cleanout. Also in the bin chain settings, on the second tab you can see the order of your links. Currently we have number two up front, which is what we would like to start off with unloading out of our rear bin first. So back on the job window here, first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we have our product number two is turned on and that our rate is in, our, in the box. Then we'll turn on our master apply switch and begin applying product. As you can see on the right hand side in the bin chain widget, we are applying out of tank number two. Once tank number two's bin level sensor is triggered, it will then switch to tank number one and have a warning pop up. When the warning pops up, it'll show you that link one has been applied and now it is switching to link two, which will be our front tank. We can accept that warning. And now we are applying out of tank number one. Once tank number one is complete with applying and the bin level sensor is triggered, it'll show us that the chain has been completed and both products are now turned off. On this right hand side, we can see that our chain is complete and now clean out is ready. Now, if you're at the end of the field, you would select your clean out is ready, or if the operator is going to go back to the truck and refill, we would select this chain link to reset our links. So right now we are currently at the end of the field. So we'll select our clean out is ready. Now the machine will apply a half rate out of each tank product one and two. Now this will keep applying until the operator has shuts the, shuts the tank off. Now, if he is gonna go back to the truck and load up, we'll select the chain link just one time which will bring this up and it will reset our links. We'll select yes. And now you can see that it jumped back to number two.